Conflict over the Dakota Access Pipeline is still brewing, and now local Native Americans from the Shoshone Bannock tribe are getting involved. Last Friday, the Army Corps of Engineers and the North Dakota governor ordered protesters to clear out their campsite. Protesters have been ordered to leave by December 5th, but as we reported yesterday, they are standing their ground. In fact, some of our local tribal members are supporting the Standing Rock Sioux. Local News 8's Taja Davis talked with members of the Shoshone Bannock tribes in Fort Hall. So, Taja, what did they do to show their support? Well, Jay, the Shoshone Bannock tribes are standing in solidarity with the standing, with the standing Rock Sioux tribe. In small groups, members have traveled from Fort Hall to North Dakota to bring a variety of supplies and show their support. The Shoshone Bannock tribes in Fort Hall have been among the demonstrators in North Dakota. We went up to, to stand and, you know, do some ceremonies and say prayers with the people. Many brought supplies, were a part of the protesting, and some helped the medical teams on site. I would help get the people off the car when they came from the front lines, from the people driving them after they've been shot or maced or tear gas. The Shoshone Bannock tribes have brought protesters food and water, clothes, teepees, and wood. But with the order to leave by December 5th, they are going to be charging people who bring supplies to camp and finding them. But because interactions between law enforcement and protesters have gotten violent, the governor of North Dakota is now ordering everyone to leave a major campground site. This is a, their tactic to get people um, off camp, but you know, native people, you know, we've resisted for so long and lived under such harsh conditions throughout our history and our ancestors, you know, went through a lot, so we can go through a lot too. And they're not going to stand down. According to the tribe's public affairs manager, the tribes fully support the Standing Rock Sioux tribe, saying in part the Shoshone Bannock tribes calls for the reversal of the approval of the pipeline and for federal regulators to respect the Standing Rock Sioux tribe's resources, treaty rights, members, and lands. At 6, the Shoshone Bannock tribes members will share some of their experiences on the front lines when they travel to North Dakota to help the cause. In the studio tonight, I'm Taja Davis. Thank you, Taja. The Standing Rock Sioux Tribe says construction of the pipeline will threaten the environment and damage Native American burial sites, prayer sites, and significant artifacts. You can see the full resolution statement made by the Shoshone Bannock tribes at localnews8.com.